So worksheet nine, like I said, totally fine if you're not done with it. We're gonna start down here on three. Hopefully you got at least the first two done over the weekend. But like I said, not due till tomorrow technically. Fellas, stay with me please. I know math is exciting, but gotta make sure we're listening. So we take our front two numbers, 1.1 and 3.4. And we multiply them. What do we get? One point, oops, not even on. 1.1 times 3.4. 3.74. 3.74, that's my new leading number. What am I going to do with my powers of 10 now? Multiply them, very close. We got to add them together. So what am I going to get here? 10 to the 6th, negative 2 plus 4. 10 to the 2nd power. Remember, negative 2 plus 4, if we were to swap these around, is the same as positive 4 minus 2. Right? We just took plus 4, brought it to the front. Minus 2, brought it to the back. 4 minus 2 gives us 2. Right? New leading number, new power of 10, 3.74 times 10 to the power of 2, just like that. Two steps, nice and simple. We don't need to, we don't need to do step 3 here because our leading number is already in between 1 and 10. Good to go. You just leave it like that. Don't add anything to the exponent. We'll wait to do that over here in number four. So number four, we're going to start out again multiplying the leading numbers, 5.7 times 5. And that gives us 28.5. That sounds right to me. Yep, 28.5. Is that between 1 and 10? No. No. So we'll come back to that in step three. First, we'll take step two. We're going to do something with those exponents, but I forgot what it was. We're going to add them. That's right. This is just the product rule. 10.5, or sorry, 10 to the fifth times 10 to the fifth. Like bases being multiplied, we add the exponents to give us 10 to the tenth. Okay, Troy, Vincent, please stop talking. Thank you. Okay. 28.5 in front. And that doesn't look right, obviously, right? So we're going to do what with this decimal here? We're going to move it one space over. So if we only move it one space, what do we add to our power? One plus one. One space over plus one. So my new leading number is 2.85. Is that in between 1 and 10? Yes. Yes, it is. What's my new power of 10? 11. 11. 10 to the 11th. I know, it looks like a 4. That's my bad. 10 to the 11th power. Does that look like an 11 now? No. No. There you go. Whatever, you get it. 10 to the 11th power. You know 10 plus 1 is 11. All right. Yeah, so hopefully that um, kind of jogs your memory from Friday. Like I said, this process is going to be almost identical today. Except instead of multiplying, we'll divide. Instead of adding, we'll subtract. And instead of adding, we'll subtract again. Okay. So same but different opposite. Um... If you're done with worksheet nine, go ahead and pass that up for me. If you need more time, by all means, please take more time. It is not going to get put in the grade book till Thursday, so you don't have to turn it in until tomorrow. 